Name that song. Pure imagination. WAP. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions units. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter all. juicy content. It's mm -hmm. so on juicy. Patreon, follow us on Twitter, can't read the bell, but we're gonna get on personal YouTube channel, it's in the description below. What are we doing? Uh, KGF, tease, no. We already did that. <laughs> in case any of you didn't notice, holy cow. What in the world? Maniacs out there. Uh, now, it's the fastest to a million video got, of all time. Got to a million in less than 24 hours. That was crazy. Insane. Uh, but anyways, uh, today we're reacting to a little video. This is called, what is this called, Rick? It's called The Meaning of Poop. Nope, nope, that's not. Oh, was that close? No. Oh. Uh, this is, uh, say this. It's Imtiaz Ali on growing up with movies. So, oh, cool. I'm so guessing this is like a little video of him talking about cool growing up there. Obviously, we've seen a few of his films. Obviously, it was Tamasha, right? And I'm trying to think of, was it Tamasha and, and uh, what's that <sighs> one with Priyanka though? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Why do I feel like we've seen at least three? I think we have. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's um, Tamasha. Tiku. Right? Okay, so, and unless this is not, I'm just looking on Tamasha, Jab We Met, we saw with, uh, young, uh, Shahid. Highway. Highway? What? Black Friday? This is, this has got to be a combination of things here. Well, let me look at his IMDb. Yeah, for his directing credits. Rockstar. That's what it was. No, he was a writer. Met. He was a writer. Yeah, I was oh, gonna say, where have we seen his direction? This is him writing. Direction. Highway. Tamasha, spectacle is Tamasha. Highway, jab we met. Yeah, and Rockstar. Yeah, I knew there was three. Yeah, uh, so there's four actually. Really? Jab we met, jab Highway, we met, Highway Rockstar. Tamasha, and Rockstar. Four. Four, four of his films. Um, and so, yeah, this is, I'm guessing, him just talking about growing up with film. Must be. Because, yeah. Obviously, Tamasha, one of your favorite films. Yep. I seen? love Tamasha. Here we go. I feel that lots of things in my life have happened like accidents. And uh, one of them was that I was asked to do a school play when I was in the ninth grade. I was chosen to be Aladdin, who had to sing and dance and act. I think the background of filminess that I had and all of what I had seen, etc., helped me. And I was very fascinated by the fact that I'd be on stage. I think that really began the process of doing, participating in media and in storytelling for me. I, as a kid, had access to cinema theatres um, in Jamshedpur because my relatives own Jamshedpur talkies and star oh. talkies and Kareem talkies. Even when I was a kid, the gatekeepers knew me, the projectionists knew me, so I could go up to the projection room and watch. Nice. I made friends with the projectionist. There were once in a while where he asked my help to load the reel as well. And I was very fascinated by the atmosphere of the theater. It did not matter what movie was running, but just the melodrama, the sound, the music, the big faces. And when you look at a screen from odd angles, like very close to the screen on top of that balcony, where you can just huddle and sit on the floor and watch, Amitabh Bachchan's face looks huge. <laughs> and on the other side of the screen, Rekha's face looks small, but you still uh, enjoy that. So for me to be in that room, was spectacular. Just to be in that world was enchanting. Then I found that there are so many connections between stories we have heard through eras and that have inspired us. And that became the synthesis of Tamasha as it exists. That there's a boy that in a way is me, 
uh, at every age, being fascinated by stories and wanting to be in that world and world, wanting to somehow participate, be a part of it, tell stories, listen to stories. I have not really been to film, film school. I have also not assisted anybody while dying. Interesting. Wow. So I'm that freak show that yeah. came to set one day already a director. Wow. Things that I see That's rare. in my own films, uh, sometimes while making them, sometimes uh, while editing them, and I feel that, oh, this this is really bounced from my life experiences into this. That happens a lot, and I feel that there is a certain like visual theme in my movies. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, Juliet's Balcony. As when I was growing up and uh, reading books, I was fascinated by Shakespeare very early on in my life. And Romeo and Juliet and the balcony and the conversation, it stayed with me, it still stays with me. And I find that in my films, there is uh, Sochanatha in which there is a balcony, she comes on it and he's uh, uh, beneath and he's uh, they're looking at each other. But I always notice that in my movies, the Romeo and the Juliet that are standing on the balcony and on the street below, they don't talk to each other. They just look at each other, whereas in the, in the play, Romeo and Juliet are close enough to speak to each other. And I feel that this is coming from my life, because in my life, the balcony in Jamshedpur that I used to look at was on the second floor. So I couldn't talk, but I could see. It's not only that stories influence you, but what happens in your life influences your story. And how the, and that chain keeps going on because I feel that how I have been inspired by movies and my story in a way has been different because of the movies that I've seen and still continue to see. People that watch my films will be influenced by the stories that are in, in them and uh, the chain goes on and it I feel makes the world uh, more interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, very rare breed. Yeah. The no not, phone school, no AD. No AD. That's usually the, the, the step before yeah. you're allowed to direct. Well, or at least a PA. Yeah. You know, you typically, you do film school and then when you're done with film school or while you're in film school, you get the, the gift of being a production assistant. And then you really get a gift and you get to be an assistant director. Yeah. Very rare that someone just steps on and says like, okay, I'm at the helm, let's go. Yeah. That's very weird. Very strange. <laughs> but uh, really cool that it, he essentially took his life and that he was the inspiration for Tamasha. Yeah. Uh, which makes a lot of sense. I love it even more um, because that's a lot of artist stories. That's just, you're, you're fascinated by. Reminded me of Scorsese yeah. and Hugo, because Hugo's his love letter kind of to his love for film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just what they love is the storytelling. And so it makes a lot of sense uh, that why that would be such a, and the fact that he's a, a Shakespeare lover. Mm -hmm. Most, I feel like most artists are. At the very least have, a, have a, a, an understanding of the foundation that all world theater stage and screen and small screen is dependent you have you have human characters because of Shakespeare mm -hmm. he was the first person to take what had previously been the stereotypical hero villain protagonist antagonist climax crisis resolution ha we he the good guy wins the bad guy loses mm -hmm. And then taking people and making them complex and it's like, oh, this good guy actually has some bad sides and this bad person has some good sides and oh my goodness, there's a moral conundrum here. He, you have to have some appreciation, so it's not a surprise. Yeah. So that was great. I would love to actually talk to him. Yes, uh, for his, sure. What's his next um, project? I feel like... And I'm not surprised that Tamasha is a very autobiographical for him. Uh, man, I love that movie. Tamasha? Yeah, I love that movie so much. I, I cried at the end of that movie. Didn't, uh, what's, um, your daughter watch that one with you too? Yes, yeah, she, she actually did. That she loved it. Yeah, she loved it. Untitled. And I, I remembered I, India Japan film? Untitled India Japan huh. film. Interesting. I particularly like, as an extra, 
a serendipitous thing in that uh, when you know the relationship between Topeka and Ranbir, and she gives him that mm -hmm. moment. I love that movie. I, I, I could watch that movie again. Now we went to the that bar, right? We did. Yeah, we went. We to did the, a picture on the thing, yeah. just like them. They and they, they didn't they, like it. They did not want us to do that. No, they're like, uh, don't do that in here. Yeah. Whatever happened to that picture? I don't know who has it. I don't have it. I feel like it was on mine, but I don't think I have it anymore. Yeah, we're right, right there where where Ranbir and Topeka do the. Oh, they got so mad. Yeah, they were not happy with us. It was weird. Even they? though we we had like eight people in there that all ordered, every one of us. We didn't just go in and do the picture. We were patrons. We we like very strange and very odd. Anyways, let us know what's the next Im Imtiaz Imtiaz Ali Imtiaz Ali film we should watch down below.